Welcome to Avon, Ohio. It's just off the coast of Lake Erie and about a half hour away from Cleveland. Right behind me is Mercy Health Stadium where any given summer night you can watch the Lake Erie Crushers slug it out. But before the sound of a cracked bat or the smell of Cracker Jack fills the air, one April afternoon is going to feel like one of those night games. Avon is one of the prime places in the world this year where you'll be able to catch a total solar eclipse. Hundreds of thousands of people are planning to be here to experience this once in a lifetime event. So what's a solar eclipse? It's when the moon passes in front of the sun and casts its shadow onto the earth and it'll be dark for around four minutes. This is a shared experience. You must go out and see this. We caught up with Cleveland State University professor and research astronomer Jay Reynolds. He loves eclipses and sharing about them. What I like to tell my daughters, a little uh, story is, hey, knock it off or else daddy won't bring back the sun. He's also the perfect person to help us break down this astrological phenomenon. Most people will write something to this effect here. And this would be the Earth, and that would be the Moon. But they're wrong. The Moon is small. It's a quarter the size of the, of the Earth. The Moon begins to move in. And the same thing, the Moon has its own eclipse, its own shadow as well. But it's not very large because the Moon is not very large either. As the Moon comes in, watch the Earth. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, and you'll start to see in April, this is what happens. Now, look at the shadow on the surface of the Earth. It's huge. And if you were in space, looking down, that's what you would see. We can also take a look at what happens with this. Take a look at the center line. That's called the path of totality, or the exact area where the moon's shadow will cover the Earth. It's also where the sky gets the darkest and lots of different things will happen when that path comes to Cleveland. The temperature goes down. You'll actually feel it begin to get colder. If it were summertime, the crickets would start cheeping. Street lights begin to turn on. And also, if it's a clear sky out, you'll be able to see this April. Here in Northeastern Ohio, the planet Venus off to one side as well. There will be no other brighter stars up, but yeah, the stars do come out. The planets are visible. Very, very cool. Maybe it'll look something like this. This is from South Carolina back in 2017. While a total solar eclipse itself is not rare, one actually can be seen every 18 months, it is quite rare that Ohio's in the path of totality. The next time the Buckeye State will be able to enjoy one of these, it's in about 400 years from now. Seeing it in your own backyard is, is quite rare. We haven't had one here in Cleveland since 1806. So you'd be hard pressed to find anybody that remembers that one. But even if you did, they probably wouldn't have a good experience to tell you about because you can't just look straight up at the sky and at the sun. That is dangerous. You'll need glasses like these to be able to see the sun at any point that isn't during the path of totality. And we actually got these from the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Nick Anderson is a senior astronomer at the museum. He's been working on eclipses for a long time. And he can also think of a few other places where you can go to watch this one. Uh, this is actually, I think, the same exact mask uh, I ended up using in 2017 during the partial stages. Uh, just a little plastic welding mask, but it uh, has a, a dark enough shade of welder's glass in it. Uh, we usually recommend shade number 14. That will allow you to, to view the sun safely. You don't have to probably buy anything, uh, just making like a pinhole camera um, so you can project an image of the sun. If you're in an area with lots of like trees uh, surrounding you, nature does the job for you. Uh, you can like look underneath the trees uh, where the sunlight's passing through all the gaps in the leaves and then project it onto the ground or you know, onto any other surface. You'll see all these cool mini crescents. You can interlock your fingers and do the same exact thing. Okay, so we know what's coming, what it'll look like, and how to watch it. Now we just have to ask, where do we watch it from? For the shared experience, there's so many places that are offering free solar glasses, a place to go, but other things to do while you're waiting for this eclipse to take place. Anderson says the best you can do is follow that line. A partial solar eclipse is interesting, but a total solar eclipse is life-changing. And if you want to witness the total solar eclipse, you have to find yourself within that path of totality. The difference truly is night and day. 
99% doesn't cut it. Uh, you have to find yourself within that path to see the total solar eclipse. Reynolds compares it to another special day in Cleveland back in 2016. It's meant to be shared. I'll say that over and over. This is some, this is, this is huge. It's like the Cavaliers winning, but everyone gets to watch without a ticket. People are crying, people are cheering. So maybe that's a good place to watch the eclipse. Close to the path of totality with all of the protective gear and maybe a place that will make you feel like the Cavs in 2016? Well, how about here? We'll be broadcasting live all afternoon right here from Mercy Health Stadium for our Lights Out in the Land special. Over 3,000 people can fit in this stadium. They expect it to be packed. This venue is going to have a lot of great things for kids and families to do. So yes, it, you, you could watch it at home if you have your special glasses. This is the place to come and have all the fun, be a part of the excitement of the whole crowd here. Um, it's just going to be a great time. From the 19 News Lights Out in the Land party to home watch parties, the eclipse will no doubt be a fun event. But hey, wherever you're watching it from, make sure you take it all in. A lot of people across this United States get to see something they most likely will never see again in their life.